Okay. Welcome back. This is part two. Facebook just uh, instantly cut me off, and that was um, not very nice of them. But I have to wait for everybody to return now. And so if you're just tuning in for the first time, this is part two. So I guess that kind of thing happened. So we're going to wait and allow, uh, allow everybody to return. In the meantime, I will chant to serve you. Welcome, Ben. This is the live stream uh, wisdom teachings and blessings on Da Chen Bei. Welcome, M.A. Drade. <coughs> Welcome, Danta. Thank you for all for finding me again and returning, uh, coming back to this live stream. We had uh, almost 50 people in the previous one and got cut off. So whenever it gets cut off like that, I, uh, I know it's an extremely important wisdom and teaching uh, because there's always light side and dark side activity. It's unfortunate, but it's a, it's a part of what we live in. And um, so there is a war, so to speak. And whenever um, those spiritual aspirants are trying to bring the light to humanity, they do their best to try to keep that from happening. So we thank them for their service and we ask them to please leave and we invite the light side to come at this time. Welcome Paula Hyatt. Thank you for finding again. There will be quite a few that are stumbling and lost. We're going to wait just a few more minutes. I will just chant for everybody the mantra associated with this uh, fifth da and serve you with this mantra while we wait for everybody to return. So this mantra goes, Wu da chen bei, ro ro bu zhang, qi shu jing jin, shi chen bei, die wan jiang. Isn't that nice? And so uh, what it means is the fifth of the ten da is humility. It's gentle and weak. Do not fight, do not argue, do not have strife. Persistently forge ahead, vigorously. So, uh, you know, even though you do not fight, you do not, do not argue, you be gentle, you still are extremely persistent. You, if you lose humility, you fall into the deepest cavern. So the ancient Chinese wisdom on humility is it's very important to have it because if you lose humility, the lessons are very, very heavy. Ego always comes with huge lessons. So welcome uh, Luna, welcome Magdalena, Aloha Deborah Anderson. Thank you all for returning, finding me again. And welcome Nola Curtis. <clears throat> A few more minutes, I will continue to chant for you while we allow for others to return. Uh, from the previous live stream that got cut off. Welcome, Dan Martino. So, the fifth of the ten das, Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Here is the mantra Wu Da Chen Bei, Ro Ro Bu Chang, Chu Shu Jin Jin, Shu Chen Bei. And welcome Elaine, welcome also to uh, Pat. So we'll go ahead and get started. The rest of them are just going to have to catch up. So in Master Shah's book, page 102 of Soul Over Matter, which he introduces the first seven of the ten Da's, uh, on the fifth Da, Da Chen Bei, greatest humility, humility he says, Chen, Q-I-A-N, means humility. Shou, S-H-O-U, means receive. Yi means benefit. Man, uh, benefit. Man means pride. Man, M-A-N, man means pride. Zhou means attract. Sun means reduce and harm. Qian shou, man shou sun, means humility receives benefits. Pride reduces success. Humility receives benefits. Pride reduces success. This is a, a ancient Chinese proverb. He didn't make this up. The King James Bible says a little more strongly, 
Pride goeth before destruction, and haughty spirit before a fall. Welcome, Carol. Welcome also, Nina. So he quotes from two different sources, two different spiritual wisdoms on the subject of humility. Uh, one a little gentler, one pretty, you know, like, don't be stupid, don't be full of ego, you're going to get whacked. And that was from the King James Bible. So the sacred phrase is Wu Da Qian Bei, Ro Ro Bu Zheng, Qi Xu Jing Jin, Shi Qian Bei, Die Wan Jiang. Wu Da Qian Bei means the fifth of the ten Da's is greatest humility. I have no idea, Luna. It's just a simple quote in his book. He didn't go into any detail. Uh, ro Ro Bu Zhong. Ro means soft or gentle. The second ro means weak. Ro Ro. Soft and gentle. Weak. Bu means not. Do, like do not, not. Zhong means fight, strive, or argue. Ro Ro Bu Zhong means be soft, be weak. Do not fight, strive, or argue. The third line is <sighs> it's, it has another line in here, but it's not one of the mantras, so I'll read it. Di shui chuan shi. Di means drop, shu, uh, shui means water, chuan means go through, uh, shi means stone. Di shu chuan shi means a drop of water can go through stone. Now I know you've heard this before, but you ever see it where a drop dunk, 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 drills literally a hole through water? This is the wisdom on ego. Yes, be strong, but be soft. Be persistent, but be weak. Do not argue, do not fight. Lao Tzu, realize Lao Tzu, for those of you that don't know, wrote the Tao Te Ching, which also, if you don't know, literally surpassed sales more than the Bible. Uh, and the Tao Te Ching is 81 um, proverbs about how to lead life and reach full enlightenment. Uh, so you can learn more about that. So Lao Tzu realized that weak and delicate things have gone, uh, have great tenacity. Weak and delicate things have great tenacity. Weak things can also have great inner vitality. They could have huge invisible potential power. On the other hand, strong things may only appear strong on their strength could be very limited. Therefore, strong things could be very vulnerable. I'll repeat that. Strong things may only appear strong and their strength could be limited. Therefore, strong things could be very vulnerable. Ro Ro Zhong Gong Qiang is great wisdom from Lao Tzu. Many examples in history have demonstrated this great wisdom. Bu Chang is also a great teaching of Lao Tzu. No striving, no fighting, and no arguing in the nature of Tao. Tao creates heaven and Mother Earth and countless planet stars, galaxies, and universes. Tao creates every human being. But does Tao control anyone? Absolutely not. So original creation does not control anyone, but allows. Everyone has free will. Tao gives everyone freedom to walk his or her own path. Tao does not fight or argue with anyone. Ro Ro Bu Zheng, soft and weak, do not fight, strive, or argue, is a Tao quality. It may be hard for some to understand, but follow the wisdom and you will receive remarkable benefits for your finances, business, health, relationships, and more. So the third line is Qi 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 Xu Jing Jin. So so far we have uh, Wu Da Qian Bei. The fifth of the Tendao mantra is greatest humility. 
ro ro bu shang be uh, be soft be weak do not argue or fight or strife the third line is qi shi jin jin which translates to persistence and dedicate yourself to progress be persistent and dedicate yourself to progress the fourth line shi chen bei it means lose humility shi chen bei chen bei is humility shi means lose so if you lose your humility then the last line die wan zhang die means fall down wan means 10000 in chinese 10000 stands for the words all or everything so even though literally if the if they said wan uh, like like the wan the, the 10000 dollar you know wan um the the more spiritual meaning is all and everything <coughs> fall down everything and zhang is our ancient unit of length equivalent to nearly 11 feet so die wan zhang means fall down into the deepest cavern <coughs> excuse me there's karma clearing occurring right now as i'm reading this I'm getting um, purification in the lungs, so reading this to you, you guys are purifying, and I'm feeling the results. Thank you, heaven. <clears throat> so what is the great wisdom of these five lines? The fifth of the, of the ten das is the greatest humility. Ro, ro, bu, jung. Be gentle. Be weak. Do not fight, strive, or argue. How many of us do that our whole life, right? It's saying don't do that. Bring love, compassion, forgiveness, and light into the equation. Be persistent. Move forward vigorously, but that, that but but be weak, like like water. Moves forward vigorously. Donk 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 donk. It drilled a hole through the rock. Sure, Chan Bei. If you lose your humility, there is a great fall awaiting for you. So this is the deep wisdom that comes with the bringing forth of the ten da into our life. <sighs> These five sacred phrases teach us that humility is the key for progress to every aspect of our life. It teaches us that the Tao qualities of softness and weakness can overcome strength and hardness. Striving, fighting, arguing are not Tao qualities. This wisdom warns us that if we uh, if if we or our life is not operated in humility, we could lose our health, we could lose our business, we could lose our finances, we could lose everything if we always have to be in that place of ego. So now, <clears throat> let us chant the mantra together, and we're going to do a request, and we're going to ask the mantra to serve us, and then we'll practice together. We place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Left hand in front of the heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. And we ask this mantra to serve us. So continue to repeat if it's comfortable for you. Dear the soul of my beloved creator, the divine, the Tao, the source, whatever name you go by, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you. I honor you. I respect you. I bow my head to you. I ask most humbly for your blessings to release my blockages to the greatest humility. Please bless me to release my need for validation, approval, and all those things that keep me from being a humble servant, one who is aligned to original source love. As appropriate, thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> and so I believe Kristen has posted the five lines in her chat box. So look for Kristen Rojas chat box and I will begin. You're welcome to come in whenever you'd like. Wu Da Chen Bei Ro Ro Bu Chang 
Chi Shu Jing Jin Shu Chen Bei Die Wang Jang Again Wu Da Chen Bei Ro Ro Bu Jang Chi Shu Now you notice this one has five lines. <coughs> the previous of the ten da's have four lines. As I'm looking at the other ones, it looks like that's the only one that has five lines. <coughs> so the other ones follow a little different mantra pattern. So this one you have to kind of twist your brain a little bit. So I'm going to sing the other four to you now so you hear them all in order. Then we'll practice more on this one. <coughs> so this is a blessing and you're welcome to join with me if you have it, if you know it. So these are the first five of the ten da. Yi shi da ai wu tiao jian ai rong hua zai nang xin qing shen ming ar da kuan shu Wo yuan liang ni, ni yuan liang wo, xiang ai ping an he xie. San da zi bei, yuan li zheng qiang fu, Wu Zhong Sheng Gong De Wu Li Yang Fourth Da Tsi Da Guang Ming Wu Zai Dao Guang Zhong Dao Guang Zai Wu Zhong Tong Ti To Ming Number Five Wu Da Chen Bei Ro Ro Bu Zhang Chi Shu Jing Jin Shi Chen Bei Die Wang Zhang. <clears throat> so to remind you, the fifth of the ten das. Isn't that beautiful how they flow together? We still have five more to go. So the fifth of the ten das is, uh, excuse me, the the translation which I will chant for you is the fifth of the ten da quality is humanity. The second line is gentle and weak. Do not strive, fight, or argue. The third line, persistently forge ahead vigorously. The fourth line, do not lose humility. And the last line, if you do, you fall into the deepest cavern. Okay? <clears throat> so I will try to chant this in English now. The fifth of the ten da qualities. Be gentle and weak. Do not fight. Persistently forge ahead vigorously, lose humility, fall into the deepest cavern. The fifth of the ten da quality, be gentle and weak, do not fight. Persistently forge ahead vigorously, if you lose humility, you fall into the deepest cavern. 
So hard to obviously sing it in English. But why am I doing both? Why am I chanting Mandarin Chinese, which is obviously more beautiful, and the English not so flowing? Because one reason is, uh, as a master teacher, I'm asked to memorize it. <clears throat> but each time I chant in both, uh, I'm, I'm actually assisting your left and right brain activity, and you're getting huge blessings. Because these words uh, came to Master Shah through heaven, so he flowed them. He did not write them with his mind. And in receiving the wisdom, in speaking the wisdom, every word, every phrase, every sentence carries Shen Qi Jing, carries a frequency. If I say, you know, the words, I really, really don't like you, that carries a very unpleasant frequency. If I say, I love you, that carries a very different loving frequency. So everything carries Shen Qi Jing, frequencies. And when, so the one sentence secret, what we chant is what we become. When we chant the, the words, um, ro ro bu chang, ro ro bu chang, ro ro bu chang, ro ro bu chang, ro ro bu chang. What am I doing? I'm creating a soul-based message. I'm putting a frequency into my soul that says, be gentle. Do not fight. Do not strive. Do not argue. Be humble. Okay? So everything carries a message. The chanting is a deep, deep teaching and wisdom. When we chant, you know, think about it. What if you're in a very, very unpleasant space? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if you lost someone that you care about. It doesn't really matter what the source. You just know it's an unpleasant mental space, emotional space. <clears throat> Chant something beautiful and simple, like Da Quan Shu or Da Ai. If you like the English, great. Greatest love, greatest love. You keep chanting that 10-15 minutes, it's virtually impossible to not feel better. Why? Because it carries a frequency. So I'm extremely grateful that Master Shah has brought this to us in this way. So <clears throat> today I will remind everybody that each of these 10 Da, there is a crown chakra available. If you have troubles with love, receive a crown chakra blessing. If you have trouble forgiving an individual, receive a crown chakra blessing. If you have an inability to be compassionate towards yourself, receive a crown chakra blessing. If you have big ego and you need more humility, receive a crown chakra blessing. These are only $100 each. And uh, get, a, get a bunch of them, you know. They're, they're extraordinary what they will do for you. They will clear blockages from your mind, the negative thinking, all the heart blockages, all the negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, old memories, all this stuff, heaven has the ability to remove it from you. That's what crown chakra blessings do. They literally, it's like a big sucking vacuum machine and just goes in there and pulls all the crud out and drops in new messages, new love, new light, and, uh, and just purifies the heart and soul. There is not a single person that receives this that doesn't notice a significant difference. So, this is available for uh, any of you if you want to give yourself or someone you love a Christmas gift. It's a beautiful service. Uh, if, if it's a family member, meaning uh, children, brothers, sisters, mother, father, grandparents, uh, no need to ask their permission. If it is, um, or husband, wife, no need to ask permission. But if it's somebody that's a family friend, whatever, then you have to ask permission to, to honor for them to receive an energy blessing. If they say, yeah, I'm happy to receive an energy blessing for you know, love or for whatever, then, then it's okay, I can offer it, okay? So I thank you for coming. I thank you for your persistence in returning after the first live stream cut off. And I will be back tomorrow when we cover the sixth of the Ten Da's Greatest Harmony. So I look forward to serving you then. Until then, aloha and mahalo. Bye-bye, everybody.